Tonight's video involves smoke and flames, and it was inspired while I was looking at various uh, midge killing and mosquito killing thing chemicals. I found this Indian pack of things called Goodnight Fast Cards. Now, I want to uh, mention, well, definitely, but we're going to get onto the chemicals later on. But let's uh, take a look at the, what inspired this in the first place. So, this is basically it's a, a paper that you burn, and I'll just read what it says on it. Good night, Fast Card, a revolutionary product that gives your family relief from mosquitoes immediately. Burns completely in three minutes, gives instant relief from mosquitoes. Effect lasts the entire evening, safe around your family, leaves behind a pleasant fragrance. And when you open this pack up, inside you find what looks like a sort of a little instruction sheet and a little what looks like a sort of book of tickets. And you peel one off. And you fold it in half, and you sit it like a little sort of tent, and then you light one end. Let's light one end. Is this lighter going to behave? Yes, it is. And you light one end, and then blow it out. And the flame creeps across the paper, and the smoke comes off it. And I thought, that's quite neat, and it's basically it's fumigating the room, so let's not uh, let's uh, put that out right now. I don't particularly wish to be fumigated right now. Make sure that is out. I'll put it there. So I thought, that's quite neat. I quite like that. So I got a bit of uh, paper because I thought, you know, you could. it would be nice if you could just do that with standard printer paper. And it, especially if you put a drop of uh, fragrance oil on it, like this lime oil. And as the heat went along, it would vaporise because that seems to be how it operates. It's got an oil carrier and it's got this sort of like the, the chemical in it. And you can see just ahead of the heat, you can see it all vaporising off. So... It's not actually burning it, it's kind of vaporised the heat just as it approaches. So I tried a bit of paper just to see how well it would burn. Let's, uh, let's light a bit of paper at the edge. And blow it out. And it kind of, it worked okay. It, the flame gradually crept across, but after a time, it just peters out. It's not, it doesn't sustain the flame as well as this material, so there's something else in this. And I was trying to work out what that could be. And what came to mind was saltpetre. Now, saltpetre... I'll just put this to the side while it smoulders away. Saltpeter uh, is potassium nitrate. It's one of these chemicals. It's used for various things. Uh, unfortunately, as well as curing uh, salt beef recipes where it's used as a preservative, unfortunately, it's also used for making gunpowder. And that means it's a bit controversial. This has just petered out, I think. Has it gone out completely? I think it has. Yep. So, um... It's one of these chemicals, uh, like potassium permanganate and other things, that I recommend, if you don't have any already, then go online, go on eBay and buy some potassium nitrate. It's very, very useful. It's got lots of applications, one of which is that it supports, it, it basically acts as an oxidizer, I believe. I'm not an expert in chemistry and science. That's very much for nerd rage. Uh, and Applied Science and Cody's Lab, of course, and the other science channels that are most worthy. But uh, if you try, if you get potassium nitrate in its own, you try lighting it, it doesn't burn. However, if you add sugar to it, and I've got some uh, sugar here, but I've actually made a, a little portion already. So let's uh, put that, and I've mixed these two together in equal quantities. If you like this, and hopefully it will light, once it goes, it burns quite vigorously with a bit of a flame, and it produces lots and lots of sweet caramelly smoke and this particular recipe is one of the most basic if could it be called a firework it's a, a smoke composition and you can actually get if you were to put the two together in a specific ratio I mean 50 50 is fine but there's a I think it's 50 percent uh, 60 one forty of the other but 50 50 works if you mix them together and you heat them on a stove outdoors and uh, emphasis on the outdoors because uh, it goes off unexpectedly. Also, do not put it in a glass jar in the microwave because I've tried that. It does self ignite and then you end up with a glass jar that is getting very, very hot and there's flames and smoke mirrors it. And then you've got a hold of it in a dishcloth and you're going to put it in the sink, but the sink's got water in it and then it's going to explode. It did explode. It was exciting. So don't do that. Leave that to me and the other foolish people who do these experiments. No, do it yourself as well. It's, it's so exciting. But anyway, if you get these two and you put them in a stove and you carefully heat them and you mix them together, it gradually it turns into sort of caramely stuff and then you can stick a wee bit of fuse in it and it's basically, you can use it to make smoke booms. I'm quite cautious about saying the word boom, monsieur. Yes, 
a boom, uh, particularly in this day and age. But uh, that's that's a basic recipe for that. Now, if you just soak paper in potassium nitrate in its own, uh, it will support the flame. It doesn't even have to be a concentrated solution. So I've got a couple of strips here that I'm going to actually set up. I'm going to tape these onto the edge of this, and then I'm going to light them next to each other so we can actually see them burning. But one is... Uh, Constant that saturated uh, potassium nitrate solution and pota uh, saturated potassium nitrate and sugar and the other is diluted 50% uh, extra water from the point so it's well well basically diluted potassium nitrate and uh, potassium nitrate and sugar so I'm going to set that up now and then we'll take a look and see how well they burn so that's the experiment set up so we have potassium nitrate uh, a concentrated solution potassium nitrate and sugar concentrate solution, and then we've got the potassium nitrate and the nitrate and sugar with an extra 100% equivalent of water, so well diluted. So let's see how well they burn. And also uh, how much smoke is generated. So this one's not gen... That one's kind of got overzealous, actually. Ew, that's kind of messed up the experiment. Not to worry. Let it continue. So... This one's producing plenty of smoke. This one's kind of messed up now. That's that's annoying, but hey, this sometimes happens. Uh, right now, I'd say the most smoke is coming off the con concentrated nitrate and sugar, and that kind of makes sense. And you notice that these ones, well, apart from the bursting flames, uh, these ones are burning a little bit faster than the diluted potassium nitrate, which you'd expect. It's sort of less of an oxidising effect. Plenty of smoke. Oh, the eyes are stinging a bit. Too much smoke. Okay. So, I think the best result here is from the nitrate and sugar. For It produces a good amount of smoke from the paper, but it also gives this really good caramely flavour. Uh, I should really extinguish this before it gets to the sellotape. Oop. Rightio. So, I shall put this down. Keep an eye on it in case it bursts into flames and let's uh, make our solution and I'll show you how to make this so you get five grams of sugar just standard household sugar and you get five grams now am I focused in the sort of correct level here hold on I'm just going to get something to focus on let's focus on this just to make sure everything's looking good so you've got the five grams of sugar and I'm working in grams because it's a nice convenient multiple. It's, you know, it's quite a high resolution measurement. And I've got five grams of the potassium nitrate. And what I've done, I put them into a container with some water and added hot water and stirred it in. And a good typical quantity is about 40 grams or 40 milliliters of water with those two five gram uh, sugar and the potassium nitrate. And give it a good mix until it's all fused together. Then simply... Get a bit of paper. In this case, I've just got blue standard set of printing paper just to provide better contrast and just dip it in it, in the solution. And then sort of drain it off a little bit and then place it on either a grill to dry or on paper. Now, I'd say a grill is probably better because it's going to result in less being soaked into the paper. And what you end up with is, uh, let's put these out of the way. You end up with uh, bits of paper that are dry with this uh, chemical sort of impregnated into them. So I'll just put that out of the way at the moment and bring in our little fire dish again. Let's get these off. And what you can do once you've done this, uh, in this case, here's a bit of the white paper that did it to it. And you can see it's got a sort of big creamy stain all over it where I splooshed on some oil. If you put a drop of, say, lime oil, as I did in this one, uh, it soaks into the paper. Uh, this is after you've treated the paper with that stuff. And when you light it, it will actually give off the aroma as well as the sort of haze. I think this was just potassium nitrate I put in this one, not the sugar. When you actually start burning this stuff, when it reaches the oil, it will start uh, evaporating the oil off. But it's worth mentioning, if you have too much oil on it, if it's wet with oil, it will just basically spontaneously combust when it gets up to that point with the, the instead of just glowing up to it, it will start uh, getting more reactive and it will start spluttering. Let's see if I can do that, in fact. Let's, uh, at the moment, I'm getting the, the smell of the lime. Let's see if I can, I've not got much left here. 
Let's see if I can splash some oil on and see if I can emulate that thing when it gets to it. Being a live video, just like Tomorrow's World, it won't do what I said it was about to do. You can see it actually get, it starts suddenly speeding up there. And if it's a lot of oil, it will suddenly just burst into flames. It seems to have survived so far. Can you see the little uh, line? If I zoom down here, can you see the little line just proceeding? The sort of the heat that's going across there as the oil evaporates just ahead of it. So it doesn't burn the oil, usually, not unless the whole thing bursts into flames. It usually just sort of, it sort of permeates it into the air. So, um, right. Next experiment then. So having soaked uh, your papers, that's fundamentally it. You can, if you want that sort of nice smoky smell, let's say I get some of the positive stuff, the sort of like the really concentrated stuff. All you have to do when you want that nice caramely smoky smell, let's zoom back out, is get a bit of the paper, fold it, and light the edge. And to show you the uh, effect of the smoke coming off this, I'm going to change the camera angle. I'm going to actually make it so it points across towards it so you can see the actual smoke rising off these sheets. Let's see if we can catch this, catch the, catch the proper effect of the smoke coming off this. Oh yes, we're definitely getting the, this as it wafts towards the camera. So it provides us a nice visual effect. And as I say, Maybe not with the sugar, but if you just did the potassium nitrate one, if you add that drop of oil onto it, it can, uh, let me just uh, lock that exposure a bit just so it doesn't waver up and down. It uh, it can add that sort of um, aroma as it burns across. Just uh, always do it in a sort of tray just in case, you know, it does go up in flames. But this uh, arrangement here, just this in its own, just the potassium nit nitrate and sugar soaked into the paper and then dried produces this really... Uh, maybe, I don't know what the what the health implications of breathing this smoke, I've done it plenty of times, indoors are, but uh, it certainly creates this really rich caramely smell in the air, and as you can see it readily burns across until that uh, everything has basically been consumed up. You can see extra little flashes at the bottom there where, uh, where the bare sugar is, but that's it. Caramel candy fizzing fire paper. It's quite neat, very easy to make. Just get yourself some potassium nitrate and sugar, dissolve it in the liquid. And I've got, I'm going to put the uh, the quantities down below in the description and uh, soak paper in it, let it dry, and there you have it. It's quite a novel and interesting effect. Makes a nice smell, makes a nice plume of smoke. So um, let me know what you think in the comments down below.